how to return. Let's take a look at a typical assembly language program that uses the return instruction. This L call fill instruction causes the program to jump to the L call fill subroutine. The program continues running at the subroutine. Eventually it reaches the return instruction. The program returns to the instruction just after the L call fill instruction. When the next L call fill instruction is executed, again, the program jumps to the fill subroutine. It reaches the return instruction and return to the instruction just after the L call fill. Take note on how the program flows. The return instruction sometimes return here and sometimes it return there. How does the return instructions know where to return to? Let's take a look at the assembly listing of this program. These are the code addresses. These are the machine codes. When the first L call fill instruction is executed, the address of the next instruction, also known as the return address, is stored in the stack. The program then jumps to the fill subroutine. Eventually, it reaches the return instruction where to return to. Remember, the return address was stored in the stack. The program retrieves the return address from the stack and place it in the program counter. The program counter guides the program to jump back to code memory location 0007. Exactly how is the return address stored in the stack? This is a representation of the stack. The initial content of the stack pointer is 07. Execution of the L call fill instruction causes the return address to be stored in the stack. The address is 2 bytes. It is stored just above the current top of the stack. The stack pointer is adjusted to the new top of the stack. The program then jumps to the fill subroutine. When the return instruction is executed, the program fetches the return address and place it in the program counter. Since two bytes of data are taken from the stack, the stack pointer is adjusted to the new top of the stack. The program counter then guides the program to jump to code location 0007. The program has returned successfully. When the next L call fill instruction is executed, again, the return address is stored in the stack. It is placed above the top of the stack. The stack pointer is adjusted to the new top of the stack. The program then jumps to the fill subroutine. Again, the return instruction is executed. The program goes to the top of the stack to fetch the return address. The return address is placed in the program counter. Two bytes of data are taken from the stack. The stack pointer moves to the new top of the stack. The program counter guides the program to jump to code location 000E. The return instruction has successfully returned. Let's take a look at the entire flow again. The first L call jumps to the fill subroutine and returns to the right place. The next L call instruction again jumps to the fill subroutine and return to the right place. And the final L call instruction. So, how to return?